Hi, I'm Liz Needham. Let's have a look at the answers to question 2a part 1. So what we've got here is we've got some data about year 13 students and it's looking at whether or not they gained achievement in, in their exam and we've got some information about snorers and gaining achievement and non-snorers and gaining achievement. So what we want to do is we're going to divide this up and I'm going to put the data into a table but you could do it as a tree diagram or as a Venn diagram. So I'm going to separate this into my snorers and non-snorers and then my achievement which I'm going to call which we they've um, asked us to call E and E dash which is our not achievement. I then want to add in a total column and a total row and now I need to put the information on. So we've got 123 snorers so there's my total and for those 123 um, students 91 gained achievement or better. Then they've got 78 non-snorers and 68 of those gained achievement or better. So now I can work out what the other values on the table are. So 123 minus 91 gives me 32 and 78 minus 68 gives me 10 and then I can add my rows 159, 42 and 201. So that's my first step is to collect the data. Now I'm going to look at the table and look at the question. So it says compare the probability of the achievement or better given snoring and compare that with the probability of achieving and talk about what that means in terms of independence. So let's start with the probability of achieving given that somebody snored. So given that somebody snored, well there are 123 students who snored and 91 of those achieved. So that's going to be 91 out of 123. And I'm going to turn that into a decimal because I need to compare it. So I personally find it easier to compare decimals. So that would be 0 0.740. Now I'm going to look at the probability of achieving overall. So in total, we had 159 students achieving out of the total of 201 students. So the probability of achieving is 159 out of 201. And if I turn that into a decimal, that gives me a value of 0 0.791. Now in terms of independence, one of the rules for independence says if two events are independent, then given some more information, that should not change my probability. So if the probability of an event is equal to, sorry not plus, is equal to the probability of the event given further information, so given snoring, if that is true, then they are independent. How in the, however, in this case, they are not. So 0.791 does not equal 0 0.740. Therefore, and my three little dots there mean therefore, um, S and E are not independent. Thanks for watching.